From Channel 3, this is an Eyewitness News Update. Hi everyone, thanks for joining us. I'm Kara Sundlin with your today's top stories. We're getting a look at three of the five people arrested accused of stealing two cars over the weekend and crashing them both. They're Daryl Duncan, Brandon Duncan, who are both 18 from Hartford, an 18-year-old Christopher Collins from East Granby. A 15-year-old and 16-year-old were also arrested. Officers tracked down the suspects in a stolen BMW after it crashed on Main Street in Glastonbury yesterday. The teens ran off and later called the rideshare company Lyft when the driver arrived Police say suspects, the suspects stole the vehicle and then crashed that vehicle near Glastonbury High School. State leaders are celebrating an increase in funding for school construction projects. The state is receiving about $400 million to invest in construction at schools across Connecticut. That includes $24 million for Washington Elementary School in West Haven. The school is more than 100 years old, and it's also one of the oldest elementary schools in the state. Construction starts in about a year, and it's going to take about two years to complete. In West Hartford, fire officials say lightning is to blame for a house fire on Girthmere Drive. Firefighters responded to the home this morning. Not clear if anyone was hurt. Crews are still there, and they tell us that the fire was extinguished very quickly. The New Haven Fire Department is warning, mourning the loss of one of its own. The department announced today that retired Chief Mike Grant passed away. It posted a message on social media saying, in part, Chief Grant was a role model and mentor for so many of us and responsible for who many of us are today. All right, the week is off to a wet, stormy, and cool start across Connecticut. We'll continue the chance for some scattered showers, perhaps some embedded thunder through the evening. In fact, into the overnight as well for our Tuesday. But tomorrow will be a bit of a brighter day with at least a partly to mostly cloudy sky. Any storms that develop tomorrow afternoon could be on the strong side. And temps tomorrow uh, with the sun shine a little bit warmer than today, 75 to 80. Today we may even struggle to reach 70 in some spots. And we've got a stretch of dry, warm weather with lower humidity Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. We're back into the mid 80s. We'll end the week on a quiet note. The upcoming weekend features some humidity on Saturday, highs in the mid 80s, a chance for some afternoon and evening thunderstorms. But for Father's Day Sunday, looking bright and dry with highs between 80 and 85 with lower humidity.